Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to Second Sight Augmented Reality on Sony PlayStation Portable and how we can link printed medium to digital resources. On the table in front of me I've got a reference book into which we have affixed semicodes. This semicode here is approximately 25 millimeters in diameter and this one here is approximately 30 millimeters square. They've been located in this demonstration text, which is from Dorling Kinsley Space Encyclopedia, to demonstrate how, using the second site on Sony PlayStation Portable, we can trigger content to play. So on this page, we've got a Saturn rocket. If I bring the second site on PlayStation, as the PlayStation sees the semicode, it's actually here triggered a video of the rocket launching to play off of that page and as you can see that now continues to play on its own. If I come back out of that, so we've got a blank screen, if I now move over to the next page, when I bring the PSP camera into view of this semicode it triggers some 3D content to play and I'm just adjusting the orientation of the PSP here so that we can see the rocket stood up, stood up on the page and perhaps if I just bring that back out a bit. If we put the PSP back down on the table and turn over the page here, this is where I start think that uh, Second Sight st can start to really bring the text alive, is that here we've got a picture of the lunar lander and if we go down below it I've got a, another semicode. If I move my camera down onto the back of the PSP and bring this over the lunar lander, over the sound code, you'll see that it's here triggered the lunar lander on the page, but with also a sound file playing at the background to really bring the experience alive. And if I walk around the page slightly, you can see how I can walk around. If I change the different aspects on the camera, I'll put this back down onto the page. We can also trigger images and audio files from the textbook to complement what's happening. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration.